In this section, we're going to learn how to implement different strategies in your application to avoid from being throttled by Microsoft Graph. If an application relies on external services that implement some request throttling or rate limiting, the developers of the application should incorporate it into the application design. There are two approaches to consider when building an application that relies on Microsoft Graph to address throttling scenarios. First, Consider avoiding scenarios where requests could be throttled. Avoiding the issue completely is always the best approach. The application should also assume that while developers try to avoid throttling situations, it still may happen. And as such, the application should address what happens in those cases. The application should always assume the request will be throttled and developers should do what they can to avoid them from hitting those uh, throttling limits. One way to think of throttling is like an exception or an error in your code. Developers always strive to, avo strive to avoid errors in their code, but they happen. And there's a reason why there's a try catch finally construct and it even exists. While you should strive to avoid these issues, you should also incorporate the logic in your code that accounts for them when they happen. Let's look at the first approach to address throttling issues, avoiding the situation when requests could be throttled. The best approach is to avoid any scenarios where your application's request to Microsoft Graph will be throttled. To avoid throttling scenarios, you need to understand what causes requests to be throttled. And this was covered in more detail in the previous section. Fundamentally, requests are throttled when, they're, when you put too much of a demand on the targeted service. And this happens when a high volume of requests is received over a short amount of time. However, there's no set number on how many requests can be submitted over a specific amount of time. The reason is because not all requests are equal. A write operation is more expensive than a read operation. However, a complex read operation that includes many child collections using the expand query parameter or complex filter query parameters may be much more expensive than a write operation. Now, there are two strategies that you can implement in your applications to avoid requests from being throttled. First, limit the number of requests the Microsoft Graph over a short period of time. Another option is to limit the number of operations per the request. A query that includes multiple expand and filter query parameters is much more expensive than a simple read operation that limits the data set using the select query parameter. Keep in mind that these aren't perfect strategies where you can ensure your applications are never throttled. Your application could experience a burst in traffic and usage that makes it impossible to completely avoid some of the requests from being throttled. It's good practice to collect detailed telemetry from your application for all instances of throttle requests. You should log enough detail to let you identify in what cases throttling occurred so that you can use that information to change the calling patterns or to avoid reduce us in such instances in the future. You'll then be able to optimize and adjust your application to operate within the service limits applicable to your scenarios. Now, avoiding scenarios where your application's request to Microsoft Graph will be subjective to throttling, it's always a good first approach, but your application should also incorporate logic for situations when requests are throttled. Now, the first step is to identify when they're being throttled. Identifying throttle instances can easily be done by inspecting the HTTP status code in the response. The status code 429 indicates too many requests and is how Microsoft Graph tells the client their requests are being throttled. Many responses include an HTTP retry after header that specifies the number of seconds the client should wait before submitting another request. This includes the repeating the same requests or additional requests. Consider that not all endpoints in Microsoft Graph include the retry after header value. Your application should have a default delay number it, that it uses. Also consider implementing an exponential backoff strategy for later requests. Consider the situation where a response of 429 comes back with no retry after header and you delay for two seconds. If your requests continue to be throttled, maybe the two second delay isn't long enough. If a replayed request continues to be throttled, consider doubling the next request and so on and so forth to improve the chances of a future request is succeeding. The application should also have some sort of an upper limit of how long an exponential delay could be, and if exceeded, it should trigger some sort of an exception. 